the, the program. Well, I've been having a great conversation with Mr. Larry Toluhi, who is a public affairs analyst, and we've been extraying the bill that has been passed by the House of Representatives on Federal Road Safety Corps members having to create um, a special spot. Mr. Larry, you know, there have been several incidents of um, police brutality, brutality and we've, we've seen, seen a few police officers reportedly um, getting, you know, discharged from the police force. So, in looking at this aspect now, if this law gets passed, you know, what mechanism do you think should be in place in terms of um, reporting incidents or misconduct by members of this um, special squad that the Federal Risk Safety Corps are set to create? In Sami, the truth of the nature is serious government and serious people don't go for don't go for corrective measures. They go for they go for preventive measures. They go preact proactive rather. So they go for preventive measures. I expect them to be preventive, to be proactive and not even go and not go through with this because going through with this, you know, it, it will not be determined by who is in charge when something is in charge because let's let's face it we are humans we are africans we know how it is if we have a court martial that, that anything goes with a lot of things will happen and nobody will be prosecuted nobody will be punished we knew that in this nigeria we all knew that in this present nigeria we are in we've seen a lot of accidental discharge and nothing happened until recently we are seeing that people are being People have been prosecuted. People have been uh, uh, people have been dismissed. But you see, when people get dismissed, whether you dismiss or you actually even killed someone, is it bringing back those that have been killed? Is it bringing them back? The answer is no. 